Hey Patriots, I'm Andrew Smith and today is Friday, December 1st and this is the Patriot Sports Update. It's the first sports update of the winter season and we don't have a lot to report yet, so we'll start with a special guest and a special invitation. Here's Carmine Garcia with Jada and Tay, members of this year's girls basketball team to talk about tonight's very special season opener. Now to Carmine. Hey A-Town, today we'll be talking about the opening game for the season, girls basketball team. Um, so can you tell us how Miriam was like off court with people? Yeah, um, Miriam was such a kind, genuine, sweet person. Honestly, if you if it was if it was the first day you met her, honestly, she would become your best friend. You didn't have to know her; she probably knew you. But if anything, she was always kind. She would always encourage whoever she came in contact with. Um, can you tell us how the opening game ceremony would be tonight? Um, yeah, so we invited her family out to watch our game, and we're going to be retiring her jersey and also giving her mom a vase and putting flowers in it and just giving her mom and her family our condolences. <clears throat> and we also have a patch on our jersey that is representing her tonight. All right, thank you all. Um, feel free like to say anything to like like anybody. Right, if y'all want to. But besides that, um, thank y'all for y'all's time and good luck. Thank, thank you. you. Back to Andrew. <laughs> oh, uh, thanks, Carmine, for that special interview. Tickets for tonight's game are available online at www.gofan.co or at the gate. We look forward to having you present a present to celebrate the passion of this beautiful soul as well as the life of her brother Omar and sister Aisha. Maryam will be a constant presence on the team with a commemorative patch on each jersey and will be with the team in spirit each game with her own seat on the bench in other sports news. While the girls volleyball team was hugely successful this season, there were other Patriot volleyball teams that were successful in different ways. Here's A-Town Today's Julian with a look at one of them. Good morning, A-Town. Today we are with Tyler Moriarty from the boys volleyball team, uh, our star player. He is the best on the team, um, and we're glad to have him. Hi, Tyler. Hey, Julian. So today we have some questions for you. How would you describe your role on the volleyball team? So I think my position was mainly like blocker. Blocker. Okay. I feel like I was also like killing it with serves. I feel like I, like what's called in our last game actually, I managed to get us an 11 point comeback because of my serves. Nice. And I'm also, I think, the tallest on the team, so I can block pretty well. Very good. Um, do you think the volleyball team is compatible on and off court? You know, honestly, I feel like it's really on and off sometimes. I don't know how to describe it, but like, I feel like sometimes we can like really be together and like know how to play a game. And then, like, a lot of the times we can also be, like, you know, really against each other and, you know, like, want to kill each other. <laughs> yeah, like, competitive, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I super competitive. You. Describe the environment, like, during an on-court volleyball game. How do you feel? How does the team feel? Um, well, I think I would feel, like, I mean, like, all of us were, like, pretty focused on, you know, just getting the ball and slamming it over. <laughs> yeah. I'd say it's pretty hectic. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Most of us were pretty competitive. What are some words you would use to describe your coach Brody? I'd probably say like very dedicated to his team. Mm. He like, I can definitely tell like even though he might be annoyed at us sometimes, like he just wants the best for us. And like he's genuinely trying to help us get better at volleyball mm. and you know, win. Right, so during games, what does the team excel at? What are we really good at? Hmm. I feel like we really, really excel at offense. We're actually really good at getting the ball over. So what does the team like mess up during games or is not so good at? Well, I feel like one of the biggest things is that sometimes we don't, we leave like a lot of like dead spots in the court. So like the team will hit like a pretty easy shot over, over to a part we aren't covering and it'll just hit the ground. Yeah. Or like we won't get there in time. I feel like another thing that we're working on is actually returning serves. Sometimes some, during games there'll just be like a long streak where we just don't return serves very well and it can usually cost us the set. Right. You know, we've been playing this club sport against uh, older people. You know, what do you think yeah, like about... Yeah, rec leagues. Yeah, rec leagues. What do you think about that, like as in terms of, Honestly, I guess, fairness? 
I mean, honestly, like, it's still our first year, so, like, we're still just, like, trying to become a team, you know, be organized, get better. So, like, of course we're just not going to be as good as we hope now, right. but honestly, I'd say it's pretty fair. All right, I think that's the last question for this interview. Thank you for your time, Tyler. Yeah, no problem. And uh, keep volleyballing. Good luck to our indoor track teams and indoor track and wrestling teams who kick off their seasons tomorrow. Indoor track goes to Manassas to compete at Colgan High School, and the wrestlers head to Louisa for the Varsity Invitational. We'll have more on the wrestling team's upcoming season next week on the Patriot Sports Update. That's all for now, sports fans. Have a great long weekend, and we'll see you next week on A-Town Today.